right, guys. It is a gray, gloomy, depressing 59 degree day. 59 degrees. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 59 degrees on the second day of summer 2021 here up around Ithaca, New York. And the 59 degrees. You know, guys. Uh, I keep hearing all of this shit about some fucking heat wave going on on this planet. Uh, it's going to be 42 degrees tonight. 59 for a high, 42 for a low on the second day of summer, which would be June 22nd, 2021. So I'm just driving around like a clueless fucking moron, you know, just doing what humans do. And what I'm doing today is, so far, I am $625 into this septic repair bill. $625, and that doesn't uh, even include the labor, uh, the $85 an hour labor to actually, no one's even shown up yet. Uh, and I've spent $625 damn dollars. Well, I guess the guy pumping the thing. Anyway, so as I figured, $1,000 uh, so I can have a, a goddamn flush toilet back in the Hambone Hilton. You know, I used a fucking uh, plastic bucket for two years in Austin, Texas. I'm actually enjoying the view from the hillside uh, in my little plastic bucket. A thousand fucking dollars. So, uh, we, we can flush a motherfucking toilet. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, I, I appreciate all you guys, you know, just talking about, just, you know, acting like it's changing a light bulb to uh, put a composting toilet out on my property. And uh, just fuck this septic system. Just put a composting toilet out there. Uh, Hambone, yeah, like, you know, like, change the light bulb, Hambone. It's a major fucking job, and of course, the uh, Department of Environmental Health, they're completely illegal. Uh, I get, well, at least with new construction, you cannot get a building permit. You can't get a building permit in, in any of these counties around here. Uh, if you're building a new house, uh, until your house, you know, until you've been signed off by environmental health, you have to have the septic system and all of that installed and approved before you get your fucking building permit. Now, of course, if you're in my situation and you're living in a fucking 70-year-old cabin, and uh, something, you know, and the septic system breaks down, I, I guess who the fuck is going to know? Uh, I would be more likely to do that if it wasn't for the damn hip camp. But, you know, I'm, I'm on hip camp advertising flush toilets and hot showers and all of this shit. You know, the goddamn shower and the sinks are routed into the septic. I don't know what the fuck that's about. I have got to get the damn uh, shower in the sinks uh, pulled out of the septic and into the gray water. Here's the man, 30 miles an hour through here. So, uh, I have got to uh, get out there and get that damn shower and sinks uh, routed into a gray water. Now, this fucking cop is turning around. I uh, better not be coming around uh, af after me. Uh, I think he's just turning around. He's not coming around anyway. Anyway, you know, it's this shit like this. This is two full fucking days uh, of... of my life gone into this and then I have to go fill in all of this shit. Uh, three days of my life, at least a thousand fucking dollars uh, so I can take a fucking dump in my own house 
which I would be very happy to do in a goddamn plastic bucket full of fucking sawdust. Biggest bunch of fucking bullshit. It's dealing with this fucking shit. It is never fucking ending. You know, it's not like I don't have enough to do in my fucking life and enough to think about without bullshit like this. You know, remember this fucking broken windshield from uh, this goddamn broken windshield when the goddamn tiller, uh, that was a month ago. I still have not received my windshield. I think I'm supposed to receive the windshield tomorrow. But then, of course, I have to install the fucking windshield. You know, a fucking month I've been driving around w w without a fucking windshield in the back of my fucking truck dealing with this goddamn uh, septic bullshit out of the fucking middle of nowhere. That goddamn tree just falling down. Had another fucking tree just fall down yesterday. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, and you, and you just wonder why why people uh, aren't fucking doomers. You, you know, it's just, it's just, where do you find the fucking time to deal with this fucking bullshit? What the fuck would I be doing right now if I had a goddamn 40 hour a week job? Uh, good fucking God, imagine having a... A goddamn 40 hour a week job. No wonder, like, what is it? 40% of workers in America are saying, I'm done with it, and just fucking walking off their fucking jobs. You know, I was listening to the fucking NPR, this, you know, this woman uh, interviewing this guy, uh, you know, wrote some how to book, you know, one of these do it yourself books. Uh, it doesn't even matter what the subject is, he, you know. And she's interviewing this guy, and, and he's and he's droning on and on and on about uh, how to do whatever that you know that he wrote his book about, trying to fucking encapsulate it in, into a ten-minute interview. And she finally just interrupts the fucker and, and says, "Dude, you, you know what? What if you don't have a fucking..." Uh, college education and, and, and how to you know change a fucking uh, septic pump uh, you know what if you have a fucking job what if you don't have the fucking time and energy you know she's saying all of this shit that you're saying is, is fine and dandy and, and it's great if you can do it yourself just, just pop in a fucking composting toilet ham bone just do it yourself uh, what, what the fuck uh, do, do these people do, do these people fucking think? Uh, do it yourself. Uh, you know, she was saying, uh, like, what the fuck, brother? That some of us, uh, you, you know, have to go to fucking work, and 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 we don't have, uh, you know, we don't we don't have this support. Uh, in our lives and driving around buying all of the fucking shit that you need making all of these fucking phone calls and uh, emails and, and and you know talking to all these people uh, buying your fucking book uh, spending 40 hours reading your fucking book uh, by the time you do all that you might as well have just hired some motherfucker at $85 a fucking hour you know, and uh, I said, finally, some fucking intelligent uh, interviews uh, on, on NPR. All, all of this fucking do-it-yourself shit. You, you know, we're a bunch of helpless, fucking, clueless, fucking morons. You know, we're all down in our little, you know, in our own little bitty niches. And, uh, you know three days of my fucking life and all of and all of the shit all, all of the the stuff that I have quote done myself well I, I mean and, and Rob that Rob and I have done when you when you add all of this fucking bullshit up uh, you know it just it just like like how much money uh, am I gonna end up fucking saving 
You know, back when I was a clueless fucking moron real estate agent making my goddamn six figures, I, I, I would have picked up the fucking phone. Uh, I, I would have called uh, the, the septic guy and, and said, dude, my fucking uh, pump burned out on my, uh, on my leach field. Uh, could you fucking deal with this and, and send the goddamn bill to my accountant? I would have picked up a fucking phone. I would have made a fucking phone call. Never would have seen the fucking bill. Never would have fucking known how much. It would have been a fucking phone call. You know, how much is my own fucking time worth here? Uh, God damn, uh, how many? You know, I just went to fucking horse heads and back. Uh, to get these goddamn parts, you know, driving all over the fucking state of New York, uh, looking for looking for a fucking pump here and a pipe there and a fucking float valve over there and a fucking cable over there, you know. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, this motherfucking shit eats your fucking brain. God damn, you know, I got goddamn hip campers coming in on uh, fucking Friday. Look, the temperature has fallen to 57 degrees. 57 degrees now on uh, June 22nd. Anyway, I've got a fucking uh, trailer of uh, compost to go unload which I should have unloaded 24 fucking hours ago dealing with all this shit. I need to get Basil's fucking uh, trailer and his lumber up the hill to him. And I, I, I got about 10,000 fucking pounds of compost to, to shovel out of a fucking trailer and go load a fucking uh, stack of lumber that I drove a four hour round trip to pick up 18 fucking boards. Anyway, think twice before you walk off your goddamn paying job thinking that you're going to fucking do it yourself. Jesus, we're such a bunch of helpless fucking pussies. My guys.